Toby Young is in the news again, I see. He keeps turning up, perhaps less like a, a bad penny than a bad piece of shit, as far as I'm concerned. This is a guy who uh, was given over two million of taxpayers' money to run free schools. Yeah, that was in 2016. He was also, by the Tories, given a job on the board of the Office for Students. This was announced on New Year's Eve, last New Year's Eve. And yet, this happened despite the fact that for years he had been saying outrageous things. And I'll give you, just to remind you, some of the outrageous things that he'd been saying. Uh, in 2012, so five years ago, he said that uh, wheelchair ramps in schools were an example. This is a guy who's given money to run schools. Wheelchair ramps an example of what he called ghastly political correctness. And that, you know, obviously to exclude children in wheelchairs was something that was just okay. Because if you, you know, if children are in wheelchairs, they can't go to school if there are no ramps. He also compared special needs children uh, to troglodytes. We're talking children here. We're talking disabled children. We're talking about children with educational difficulties. And this is a man who's paying himself, I was just checking, between nine, he is paying himself between 90,000 and 100,000 pounds of taxpayers' money to run his uh, new schools network, whatever he calls it, which apparently is even a registered charity, and was given this position on the board of the Office for Students. Now, the press are in uh, uproar today because it turns out that there were what they call... Uh, there was a report which, which says there were serious shortcomings found in the process that gave Toby Young his Office for Students job. Uh, and everyone's amazed that how could the Tories have given him this job and how could it have not been noticed that he got this job despite the fact that he'd said all these outrageous things? Well, I'll explain how that happened because there's a huge amount of hypocrisy here, especially on the part of the press and his educational establishment. I'll tell you how he got that job, despite saying those outrageous things. He got the job because it was never reported that he said those things for five years. It wasn't even reported after he got the job in the Office for Students that he said those things. I'll explain to you how it came out that he said those things. And by the way, they were not the only things he said. He was also uh, in 2015, so again, well before he was, uh, he was given money by the government for his New Schools Network, and well before he was given this job by the government on, for the, on the board of the Office for Students, he was dis very disparaging and said disgusting things, insulting things about state school uh, students, so poorer students, basically, undergraduates at Cambridge and Oxford. And he was also linked, spoke at conferences, with far-right eugenics people. These are basically uh, people who think uh, that poor people should be sterilised in case they happen to have poor children. Uh, that's not an exaggeration, by the way. That's really what they think. This guy, Toby Young, spoke at conferences with these people. He's an absolutely outrageous guy. Well, I'll explain how he got those jobs, because everyone seems to be mystified now. He got those jobs because his comments were completely ignored. They were completely considered to be so normal and acceptable they weren't even worth reporting. When he made his comments about disabled children in wheelchairs and, dis and children with special needs, that was in 2012, five years ago. Two day he, he made those comments in The Spectator magazine. They were completely unreported and uncommented on by any educational experts, anybody in government and any journalists. I wrote a blog post about it two days after he said them. And I think one, maybe two other bloggers or social media users mentioned it. The mainstream press didn't think it worth reporting at all. And when he said his comments in 2015 about poor state school undergraduates being, I call them what, stains or something like that, I don't know, disgusting stuff. Again, it was mentioned by bloggers, a couple of bloggers and um, some social media users. It was not at all considered worthy of mention by anybody in the educational establishment, anybody in government, or any journalists in any mainstream press, including the, the left-wing press like the, the Guardian and the Independent. Nothing, not a peep from them. So how did it come out? Well, I'll tell you how it came out. 
uh, even after he was given the job uh, after New Year's Eve uh, on the, uh, for the Office for Students, still nothing in the mainstream press about it. I noticed that my original 2012 um, blog post was going viral because people were noticing that he'd said these things because of social media. And as a result of that, I could see the outrage. I started a petition to have him removed from his job on the Office for Students. This petition rapidly, within a couple of days, gained a, a huge amount of signatures, was still, at that point, still not being reported by the mainstream press, still not reporting his, um, his disgusting comments. The uh, signatures reached 50,000, still nothing. Uh, 100,000, nothing in the mainstream press, no comments. Everyone still thought it was okay for him to have this job from the Office for Students. 150,000, 200,000 it reached. And then some un more unbiased journalists, for example, in Reuters and so on, decided this was worthy of reporting. It was reported then the mainstream press started picking it up in the UK. It finally reached a quarter of a million signatures. And that was when they started reporting it and Toby Young resigned. Up until the point where my blog po uh, po post went viral in January and this petition reached 200,000 signatures, none of those comments were being reported. The mainstream press was not interested at all. They thought it wasn't worthy uh, to report that, by the way, fellow journalist Toby Young had said these things. And they certainly didn't say in 2016 when he was given all this taxpayers' money to run free schools. So this is another example of how the press and everyone now is pretending that they were always outraged by these comments when in fact they weren't. The only reason why they came out and why he lost his job is because of social media. And this is an example of how we need social media simply because the mainstream press are not doing their job and they're allowing people like Toby Young and other people to say these things, they're not calling them out on it. They're not pointing out that these unsuitable people with these outrageous views are being given huge amounts of taxpayers' money to control an extremely important thing we're talking about here. We're talking about education of our children. And the people being put in charge of it with outrageous views like Toby Young are saying these things and Everyone's shrugging. No, not everyone's shrugging. That's wrong. The mainstream press and his fellow journalists are shrugging and saying it's not worthy of reporting. The government and educational experts were shrugging mostly and saying it wasn't worthy of reporting. It was, it was normal people, bloggers and uh, on mainstream media users who were outraged by them. And ultimately, it was us that got him removed from his job. So... That's how he managed to get this job on the Office for Students, because no one was reporting. Nobody in the mainstream press or the establishment were reporting, were talking about what the outrageous views that he had until it was pointed out by people on social media. And that's why we need social media. And that's why the mainstream press should be doing its job. We are here doing their job for them. We shouldn't be doing that. I'm an amateur. I'm not a journalist. Um, it shouldn't be up to people like me to point out that these people are being put into positions of very important positions and they have these outrageous views. It should not be down to social media uh, users and bloggers. It should be down to professional journalists and experts in the field. And uh, it's not. They're not doing their job. They're turning a blind eye to their colleagues. This is a kind of cronyism. And uh, it's about time it stopped. Uh, I'm not optimistic about it stopping. Um, because journalists don't generally like to call out uh, their fellow journalists, uh, people like Toby Young. But it's about time they did. And let's stop this hypocrisy now. Let's stop pretending that we always knew about this. And it's just the Tories' fault. The Tories are simply doing what they're doing because the mainstream press are letting them get away with it. And that needs to stop.